Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. Don't care about my hair, it's look like a disaster, but just filmed a video where I tried some hyped up, hyped makeup, and this is the final makeup look. So that video is coming up on my channel. If you're interested, I'm going to insert a card up here if you haven't seen it. But right now I have so many empties here. I'll be collecting them for months and months, and I haven't been able to film it before but if you're interested to see what products i've been using and what i think about them then please keep on watching okay so the first product that i've been really liking is b effect product this is face serums this is skin routine this is a long lasting brightening with non-irritation vitamin c and also an intensive smooth soothing serum with vitamin b Free. I've been using them for months and I really really like these serums. They are cruelty free, vegan free, vegan free, gluten free, free of very bad stuff. I'm going to put the link down below if you want to check them out. Uh, I really really enjoy these products. Uh, very affordable, love them. Definitely going to continue using them and order them again because I do have an eye serum that I really like and I'm using it right now and i have another serum that it's waiting for me to try out love these products then i've been using hello beauty for over a year i like to use this packaging for keeping my brushes in there something definitely i'm going to continue using it really really changed my hair i'm going to try to insert some pictures uh, or clips uh, how my look hair looked bef uh, before i started losing it and how it looks um, during my bad time and how it looks right now and it really made big difference I, I'm very interested to try the kiwi for the skin um, but I don't actually want to stop using this either so maybe I will do a, like a month or two break for from uh, hello Be from this booster to try the kiwi one but I'm definitely going to continue using because I really really love this and I swear by it and I think it's a very good product so if you want there, it's it's expensive, but it's worth every money. So every penny. Then I got this Yes to Miracle Oil um, smoothing facial wipes from my friend Valerie in a box swap. I really like this, and uh, I do like them. I do like them. They are very good. I can't buy them here. The ones that I really like also that I can buy here is this form formula. 10.0.6 that I really like and also think are very very nice I use two of these and have more in stock so continue using them uh, the ones that I didn't I don't know that I really stopped using are the kiss makeup removal cleanse because they were not wet they were very dry and uh, they were nice but they were very dry I don't know if it's this packaging or what I'm not going to buy them again or use them again i really didn't prefer this i do like this instead these two so I'm not going to buy these again we have another hello beauty packaging like i said i've been having this for months then i have this beasting fix tonic pads from nip and fab that i really liked and enjoyed uh, these are skin uh, uh, clarifying facial facial tone Pads to tone, prep and complexion, uh, they're very nice, I do like them, can see myself purchasing these again. I do have other face tone, facial tone, toning products that I'm using, toners that I'm using right now, but I can definitely see myself purchasing these. Again, I do like Nip and Fab products, some of them I like more than the others, but they're good. Then I kind of enjoy, enjoyed this Paris Berlin uh, mascara. I stopped using it because it dried down very, it dried out very fast. I did like it, but I don't see myself repurchasing it again because I do prefer other more than this one. I already forgot about this one, but I have others that I really remember and definitely not something I'm going to repurchase. Then I do like this um, nude, the care, careful deodorant that it's very nice. It's, uh, this tube is made from sugar kennel. It's 
natural 100% it's a very good natural deodorant that I really like I already have a video about this on my channel I did already repurchase two more so definitely continue using I uh, did use this Mered Age Reform AHA BH, ex BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. I do like it. I did got this in a glossy box. I can see myself purchasing this again. I did really like this and uh, I, I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. It's expensive one, but I do like it. It's a good one. Then I did got this uh, Rituals forming uh, shower gel i think it's a good one nothing that i'm going to repurchase again uh, it smells nice but i do like nivea's or others they're they cost less than this one they are cheaper that i do like more than this one this didn't last me a lot but it's a nice but nothing that i will repurchase then i did use this CC, ccs swedish formula hand cream from uh, from Swedish blogger. I do like it. it smells very very nice uh, apric apricots apricot it smells very nice it smells fresh and fruity fruity I do enjoy definitely something I can see myself repurchasing I just ordered um, I just ordered her lip gloss and mascara that I want to try out she came out with makeup she has face products they are very popular and very good in Sweden they are cruelty free and vegan um, I do like, I did try this lip gloss yesterday and I did like it, but, um, or lip balm, but I do like this hand cream, I can see myself repurchasing it. Then I use this Revolution Pro Pore Primer that I do like, I didn't like the packaging, but I like this pro product. I don't see myself repurchasing this again because I do have other primers and I already tried another one, pore primer from Revolution that I like, but I think that I prefer tart one more that I'm going to buy again um, but it's a good one so if you want something more affordable for pores this is a good I just hate the packaging but it's a good one okay and then the mascara that I really like is this Clinique this is the high impact mascara that it's very good the green packaging dark green packaging I hated it for a couple of years ago when I just tried it didn't like it at all it flaked and I didn't enjoy it this time it i tried it in a video with all kicks beauty awards winners this mascara was one of the winners did buy it because of that video and i love it it's expensive mascara but i really enjoy it and i can definitely see myself purchasing this one again it's interesting how people change their mind sometimes if i didn't like a product for years ago i do like it now or don't like it i mean that's why i like to take the products i didn't like before and try them again when i have time and uh, money for that but i did try this and i do like it and i do recommend it and i definitely can see myself purchasing it again but i do have a lot of mascaras right now that i'm going to try out i have like four mascaras right now that i need to try out uh, so i'm not going to repurchase it soon but definitely something that it's on my list something i do need to buy again actually i agree I kind of regret using up this product. This is Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass. This is the best primer ever. This is a, a primer that made every makeup look so nice and smooth on my skin. Uh, I got so many compliments every time I used it. I used it very fast. I'm definitely going to buy the jumbo one when it comes in stock. It's the best primer ever. I love it, smooth everything and made every foundation look perfect. So many people really like my foundation and said how my complexion and skin looks very even. I don't have even skin, if you can see, but this primer is one of the best. I have combo skin and I really enjoy it. It's expensive, but it's definitely something I need to buy. I'm loving this one. Then I did try this, I got this in Glossy Box, Marin, Marin, Marin. This is Previce All Skin Cleanser that I got from uh, Glossy Box. Not something that I, it, I enjoyed it, but not something that I remember at all or I'm going to repurchase. So I liked it, but it's nothing wow, nothing special. So I won't buy it, but it's a good one. It's Previce All Skin Types. Then this ordinary caffeine solution for under eyes. This is reduced pre appearance of eye contour, pigment and puffiness. I mean, it, that, it didn't do anything for my under eye area. 
I feel like it. I don't miss it. It's nothing. I hated the packaging and also how it gathered around here. I mean, it's a nice one, but it's nothing. It's nothing special. So nothing that I'm going to repurchase. And the eyeshadow primer that I really like and definitely going to repurchase is this Photo Focus from Wet n Wild. I like it more than I like Urban Decay primer and I, it's cruelty free, it's very good, I do like it. I do like this primer and definitely going to repurchase it. And the last product that I really liked and definitely going to repurchase is this Invis Infallible L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I love this foundation, but I w felt like I went through it very fast. It's very affordable, definitely something I will repurchase, definitely something I really enjoy and love and do recommend. So if you see this foundation and you have combo skin, you're going to love it. If you dry skin, you're going to love it. If you have oily skin, I don't know. I have oily T-zone and it worked, but I can't say if it's going to work if you have very oily skin, but it's a very nice uh, radiant. It looks fresh. I love this foundation really hyped up and I think it's worth every I think it's good I'm sorry guys my camera stopped working so I'm going to do this intro instead or outro instead and I that was all of my empties for these three months and of course I definitely had more but I don't know where they are and uh, yeah I will definitely update you guys if there is anything else that I really like and don't like let me know what you think about these videos and thank you for watching and I hope I see you in my next video I love you all bye